Hello, my name is Corbin Folly. Today I am taking you to the vast wilderness of Hone Quarry in the wonderful Briary Branch, Virginia. Today we will be testing my hypothesis that rocks have feelings. You know, there's a lot of a lot of torture and misuse of rocks, cruel and unusual punishment. People crush them up and and drive their cars over gravel and make parking lots out of it. Do you like to be run over by cars? No, rocks probably don't either. Um, people take rocks and they use them to stone heretics. That's not fun for rocks either, nor is it fun for the heretics. Um, people take rocks and they build very substantial mailboxes out of them. Not only do rocks not like to be locked up in mortar and, and become property of the federal government as a mailbox, but they want to be free. Rocks just want to, to live out in the wild like you see here. These are, if there are happy rocks in this world, I'm going to find them today. And the instrument I will use is my rock happiness meter. Now, this measures the amount of electricity traveling through rocks and I'm about to have to traverse a very dangerous region of this trail so I'm gonna have to sign out and check back in with you when we find our first test subject until then rock on here we have today's first test subject we're gonna go ahead and hook up our testing device and get a control reading <clears throat> and it stabilizes at zero I'm going to start off with saying something positive to the rock. Hello, Mr. Rock. You are a nice rock. I love you. Hmm. Nothing changed in the reading. The voltage remained at zero. Let's try the negative approach. You are an ugly rock. I hate you. Still at zero. Let's move on to our next rock. Here we have what uh, a rock that looks pretty metamorphic to me. I see um, again some quartz crystals in it and it's definitely crumbling as you can see here. Control reading. Let's let it stabilize here. And what a surprise. It stabilizes at zero. Alright. Let's start with some negative reinforcement this time. You rock. You are a bad rock. Of all the rocks I've seen today, you are the ugliest rock. Hmm. The reading is still at zero. Let's go for the positive. Well, hello. Man, that's some nice quartz you got there. Mm. The way your metamorphic process must have put you together is so nice. You're a nice rock. The reading is at zero. No change. Onward. Behold, how the quartz gleams in the evening sun. Let's test this rock. Clear. Let it stabilize. Oh. Okay. Point one. We got a pretty lively rock here. Maybe it's the sun shining on him that gets him excited. All right, let's do something positive. Hello, rock. How are you doing today? You know, Mr. Bus taught me all about you, and I've learned to appreciate you and love you. Oh, did you see that? Drop down to zero. Hold on. This is not a positive, optimistic rock. Let's try some negative techniques all right rock I don't like you and you're not my friend and I just want you to leave me alone okay look at that it just went down to negative one that was substantial there it is I don't know if you can see that negative one. Oh, back to zero it was but a fleeting glimpse much like the native Indians only saw fleeting glimpses of the Sasquatch I think I could be onto something. Or I could be led down a path that ends 
in scientific embarrassment. All right, next rock. Let's get our reading. Okay. Hook these babies up and uh, test her out. Oh, it's stabilizing at zero. Uh, that's starting to sound pretty familiar. Um, we'll try the positive reinforcement. You are my rock, my favorite rock. You are the best rock I've seen all day. You'll never know, rock, how much I love you. Please don't take my cord side away. Dang. Still at zero. I'm getting kind of frustrated. I got an idea. Come on. Come on. Well, I can't even set it on fire. Everything I'm doing is failing. Spray with hairspray, no one likes that. And still, no reading, remains at zero. These rocks are stoic. They have no emotion, or do they? Let's find out, we'll move on. Look what we have here. A prime example of animal feces. If we uh, we take a closer look at this dung, we can see that there's hair in it. Animal fibers. This is clearly the poop of some native predator. Let's check its voltage. All right, maybe poop has feelings. You don't know. Sorry, Dad. I'm going to use your tool on. Predator poop. Okay. Here we go. It does not smell good. I know that much. Kind of makes me want to throw up a little bit. Alright, we've got a reading of 0 0.2. Looks like poop has more emotion than rock. Let's try saying some nice words to it. Hello, you pile of poop. You smell very good today. Thank you for honoring me with your presence on this trail. Oh, looks like the reading went down to, to zero on that. Maybe poop is more of a negative kind of guy. Hey, you poop. I hate you. I step in you sometimes and I hate it. Huh. Looks like the readings have stabilized down to zero. Oh, yep, zero. So it turns out poop just likes to be left alone. Now you know. I'm sitting here with our final rock subject. Let's test them out. Zero. What a surprise. All right, let's do something positive. Oh, yeah. Zero. Huh. I just don't get it. All right, let's try the negative. Hey, hey, Rock. Why don't you give me a negative reading, huh? So I can have some data. Wake up. Hey. Got it up to point two. Wake up, Rock. Hey. Wake up. Went back down to zero. All right. Zero. In conclusion, my experiment was not a complete failure. I realized that I failed to gather any significant data, but this is due to the insensitivity of my instrument. Should I repeat the experiment, I would acquire a more sensitive voltage meter. However, the, get the data that I did acquire was enough for me to conclude that rocks show no fluctuation in conductivity in response to positive or negative stimulation, thus indicating that they do not have any emotions. Rock on!